Hello, liking, commenting, and subscribing, brothers and sisters, yo, brethren. Eggplant. I mean Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is one that you have requested many times, in fact, in the comments section, and it is, of course, crisps. Mm. The crisp sandwich in the 70s was perfectly normal. You put crisps in a sandwich and you ate it. So, salt and vinegar crisps, which I think make the best crisp sandwich, you simply arrange them on your pre packed bread, like, comment, subscribe. Lurpak, by the way, was invented in 1903. Spreadable Lurpak, that is. Uh, evenly distribute the crisps, and then put the top of the sandwich on. Now, do I go bang on the sandwich? I've never had a crisp sandwich. What? I've never had one. Seriously? Yeah. You're not serious. Would you like a crisp sandwich, Tom? I'd love one. No one's uh, ever asked me before. <laughs> right, really? And in which direction would you like your crisp sandwich cut? Ooh, rectangular, please. Rectangular. And do I press or bang? Sounds good. These are crisps. If you're watching in Australia or America, I know you call them chips. Okay, rectangular salt and vinegar crisp sandwich coming up. Crisps. You've dropped a crisp. Oh. God's sake. So for the first time in probably well, at least two decades, maybe three. It's great. Salty, vinegary, crispy, not crisps. And we're going to make a chip sandwich, a chip butty, and we're going to compare it with a crisp sandwich. These are crisps. It's not difficult to get your head round. I mean, God. I've got tomato ketchup, which we're going to use later, in a squirty bottle, which makes a fart noise. Vinegar. Oh, it just feels fantastic under the knife. This is amazing. Salt and vinegar crisps. God be praised. That is an incredible result. I may make another one for me. Hmm. Not sure I can get that in my small mouth. Right. This might look a bit ungainly. Oh, oh, oh. That is bloody good. Okay, I'm, I'm shaking with excitement. Chips. 